Hi guys, welcome back to Bella's Big Adventures. My name's Sue. Ooh, oh, it's a bit chilly today. I have come to the van today to check that, first of all, it's not freezing or anything. We did drain the system before we left it, but you never know. And yeah, to make it a little bit more festive. Uh, we are planning to go over to the UK shortly, but I just thought I'd come along, add a few little Christmas decorations, and give you a few hints and tips about great gadgets to buy for other people or for yourselves, maybe for this Christmas period. And potential stocking fillers that won't break the bank okay let's get into it get this hat and coat off and the heating on quickly right well i may have bought one or two little things to decorate the van with so let's get them out and make this place look christmasy now to hang my little uh decorations i have got these command hooks and it does recommend them for decorating with lights and things they're clear and the stickers that you get with them come off really easily. So actually as a stocking filler, these command strips are really useful. You can also get like bathroom ones, which are metal if you haven't got any hooks in your van. The strip goes down the back of it and they just peel off. They don't leave any marks on you, you know, no drilling holes or anything like that. So I'm gonna use these little hooks to try and hang up my decorations. I don't know if you can even see it to be fair, but here it is. It's a clear thing, it has a clear pad behind it and there's a little tiny flap to the side and when you want to remove it you just stretch that flap out and it peels off without leaving a mark. Right, the decorations are up. I'll show you in a second. There's only one thing left to do to get us in the festive spirit, apart from a little bit of Christmas music obviously, and that's get the Christmas hat on. <laughs> so you can see. Okay, are we feeling festive yet? Right, I'll show you some of the gadgets and bits and bobs that I have in the van that I love and actually would make great Christmas presents. I think the command strips have done a lovely little job of putting up my reindeers. Flickering candles seem to work quite nicely. A table decoration. Stars, some lights, all put up with command strips or just hooked on. One of the things I really love is this Nespresso barista maker. If you buy a cheap coffee machine that just makes espressos, this does everything else that you could possibly want. All your frothy coffees, cappuccinos, fabulous hot chocolate. You can download an app which lets you set a certain amount of different recipes that you want to use and you just scroll across to cappuccino, flat white, iced frappe, and you can choose what you like. I'm going to go for hot chocolate. One of the things we really love is our BioLite Camp Stove 2. There's a 2 plus out now. And I've done videos and I'll put a link up here somewhere. If you're watching on the telly, you won't see it, but on a computer or something you will. If you're limited on space, it's basically a barbecue. Um, you can buy the barbecue grill. It, it'll do two people quite well. Um, and it's lightweight. And you can take it out camping and, you know, when you go off on your hikes and stuff, take a couple of burgers with you and sit in front of some beautiful lake or top of some beautiful mountain and cook up there so yeah that's a good little space saver and it's a good little gadget if you're new to vanning the things that you really want to buy apart from electricity cable a water supply and all those practical boring kinds of things is you're probably going to want yourself a barbecue especially if you're going out and about traveling and things um, it's lovely being able to cook in the kitchen but a barbecue is fabulous uh, especially in the summertime obviously and if you go into Europe then obviously you're going to spend more time outdoors than you are in so we love our Weber Traveller and I'll put a picture up here I did uh, show it in one of our previous videos it collapses down it doesn't take up as much room as an ordinary big sort of charcoal type barbecue it it'll do a family of four really easily probably more to be fair um, and you can either attach it to your gas barbecue point if you have one on your van and if you don't you can attach it to little disposable bottles so that's also a good good gadget to buy yourself probably sticking with the kitchen theme for a minute there is obviously myra mosca i absolutely love it we don't have an oven as you probably know if you watch this channel for any length of time and i'm finally getting to grips with it i will be doing a video a cooking video shortly with that we've made all sorts of things in it it's brilliant it does jacket potatoes you name it if anything you can cook in an oven you can cook in that um even a whole chicken so it's space saving you don't need an enormous oven there are three sizes there's a standard which is the smallest one which would suit two people 
There is the Grande, which is obviously bigger uh, and is actually the widest in diameter um, pan. And then there's the Trio, which is what we have. And it's the only one of the three that can actually go on the hob. So it's not the lightest thing in the world, but then it's not as heavy as an oven. It's non-stick. I put a picture in. Yeah, that's another good gadget. Um, they're quite hard to come by, apparently, with all the energy crisis that's going on at the moment. They don't use as much um, electricity as an oven. So people are buying them as soon as they come into stock. I think Lakeland sell them in the UK. You can obviously get them from the Ramoska company which is based in the Czech Republic. One of the other things we've recently bought actually is a Silway system. It's basically a magnetic system and it's some real glasses. We've been using metal ones for quite some time um, but they come with a magnet in the base so that you put these gel pads on your table and then the magnet sticks to it so people who have boats and things or moving vehicles like these um, can put them on onto the table and your glass won't fall about and wobble about and everything so yeah and they've got like a it's not sticky as in it sticks to the table and never comes off but it's got this sort of peel off back and it's sort of a gel it's sort of tacky if you lose the tack on the back apparently you can just wash it under the tap and it gets it sticky back again but that means you can have real glass and it's not going to fall off and smash everywhere so you get two glasses in a box and two gel pads to stick them to your table you can also get plates bowls hooks and you can actually buy the individual magnets you do need a recess in the bottom to for the magnet to sit flush you peel the back off stick it to your table like so and then you cup pretty much sucks itself to the table, <laughs> doesn't really move anywhere. As I say, you can buy the magnets on their own. They come with 3M stickers, so you can stick them to practically anything. Yeah, my next thing on the list is this Brita drinking water bottle. It's really cute because it means I can use one bottle for me and one of the dogs. I've got two of them. But the great thing is they're squeezable. Quite a lot of the Brita bottles you have to suck to get the water out. This one you don't, you can squeeze it. So it means you can just pop the top, squeeze yourself a cup of water and then squeeze some into the dog's bowl while you're out walking. Uh, it has got a little charcoal filter in it which are replaceable they're just oh, getting water everywhere but they're just little black carbon filter ones that go in there and obviously you can fill it up making a bit of a mess but that's just me being clumsy it's not the bottle's fault uh yes yeah, so they're great because they're squeezy in a similar vein are these fabulous drinking bottles put one of our stickers on the front just to make it distinguish between mine and Doug's. These are about 25, 30 pounds, I would say. It's mostly a flask, but it's also a drinking bottle. So it does keep things hot and cold, but you can use it as a giant cup. So most mornings when we're out and about, we have our breakfast and everything, and then I'll fill one of these up with either coffee or tea, and it stays hot for hours. Ooh. It flips open so that you can clean it properly in between. You can just press it to release and that lets the drink out without letting it all out and spilling everywhere. The cap can go in the dishwasher. The bottom it does say to um, hand wash. Yeah. On the smaller gift front, something for stocking fillers, I would say I'm going to show you a few things which are, you might think, oh, they're a bit boring and practical, but they're really useful for vanners, especially new vanners. So plate dividers. Pan dividers, you can buy a set quite easily. Bottle protectors. Now these are the things you get on fancy bottles of wine sometimes, but you can buy them uh, in a box online from some major retailers. Um, and they fit over practically everything. So you can put them over your cups, your glasses, whatever. And it stops things from clanking together when you're driving. Because there is nothing worse than loads of noise while you're driving along. It's also demonstrating two things at once. Another thing which is really nice to have in a van, scented candle. So although I've got this fake candle next to me that is flickering and it looks quite warm and cosy, this one makes the noise like a crackly log fire. So that's quite cosy and nice too. So yeah, scented candles, not too expensive, really good stocking fillers. I seem to be being completely practical here about gifts, but um, these things are small and easy to pack. So, mac in a sack, you know, any sort of little rain mac. Another thing which is invaluable in a van is 
a head torch of any description. <laughs> there are loads on the market, but especially with dogs. So if you're going out during the winter months with a dog, picking up after them and things like that, or even onto a campsite where there are, is very little lighting, this is brilliant. It's got lots of different settings. This one is a Phoenix. Um, but I think there are lots of people that make them these days. This one we've had for years and years before we even started vanning. So yeah, get yourself a decent head torch. Uh, it keeps your hands free so you can be doing things like, you know, in the winter months, I don't know, filling up your water, checking your tires if you break down or you have a puncture or something. Head torch, another great idea for a gift. I will put links to everything I've mentioned in the description um, so that you can, you know, click on them and have a closer look. Slip on shoes. Now, my sister-in-law very kindly bought me some plastic shoes, which were fur lined, they're not Crocs, so they don't have the holes in that let the water in, but they're perfect for slipping on when the dog wants to go out in the middle of the night or it's raining or whatever. You just want to get out quickly and get back in as fast as you can. They are brilliant, really comfy. I've barely had them off my feet this winter with the puppy. Non-spill dog water bowl. Lifesaver. Because you can leave water out all the time, even when you're driving along, and it doesn't slop out the side and go all over the floor. Absolute game changer. Love it. Right, well, I'm getting towards the end of my list. It's quite extensive. I hope you'll find something of interest to you. So one thing that we don't have, which is on my wish list this Christmas, is a very small travel iron. And I'll put a picture of the one that I'm interested in. Um, the reason I say that is because when we went to the Halloween trip, uh, and Doug at the last minute told me that he needed a, sh a work shirt because he does have to work when we're on the road and um, we didn't have one ironed so I ended up panicking with a hair dryer trying to get the front of the shirt to look uncreased so we could put a jacket over the top and if you're living in in the van full time you might want those collapsible ironing boards too. One other thing that I thought would be quite nice to have which we don't have is a portable fire pit. Now I know some campsites don't allow you to have fires but if you're off grid or you're you know while camping or something and some places do it if the fire is off the floor um, then this product which is just a little small one which folds away into a tiny little bag that might be of use or if you really want to blow the budget and buy them something really fancy there is this solo fire pit which I saw at the show and absolutely loved and it's got the air holes that circulate the air a bit like the BioLite does that looks amazing and you can get a gadget that goes on top to make it into a barbecue yeah that would be a fantastic present and last but not least actually something that we make use of quite a lot and that is an audible membership for audiobooks and so when you're doing a long journey and you you know you're sick of listening to your playlist over and over again you can have a story on and um yeah passes the time brilliantly it's one credit for 7.99 and most books are one credit so even something like stephen fry reading all the sherlock holmes books that's hours and hours and hours of stuff for seven pounds 99 all the harry potter books if you've got kids something to keep them entertained and what, what better than listening to Stephen Fry at Christmas? I hope I found something for you that will you can tick on your own Christmas list or send to a friend who also has got a van or a motorhome. As I say, you can find all the links for these products in the description below. If you're new to the channel, thank you for tuning in. And if you have been watching regularly but haven't subscribed yet, please do. It does help the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.